What's up? So it's uh, April 12th, 2019, 5 p.m. on a Friday. Um, I'm kind of high right now. I had a bunch of my goobers, but um, I only have one of them actually left in this, but then I have a whole other container. You could stay high all the time on like 50 bucks a month. Um, it's cheap, man. Maybe it'll be even cheaper. Um, or maybe the government will pay you to stay like super high all the time or something. It'll be so cheap. But anyway, um, yeah, last time I did a video, it was like night, it was like five in the afternoon and like, I only got like an hour of sleep the night before. And, uh, and then, so then I, uh, worked until maybe don't remember sometime into the night last night, but. But then I fell asleep, and then today my mom called, and uh, she was uh, freaking out, thinking I was never going to do my taxes, because um, I got kind of stuck on TurboTax, and like, it just stressed me out. Um, I'm too into my work right now. Like, when I get stressed, when I get, when I get drawn out with, pra with like, projects, and, and it's like, oh, shit, here we go again. I'm never going to be able to finish something, because it's like I just... I've been doing one thing and then something else and I've done some weird rabbit hole. I, I get stressed out if I have to do like responsibility type stuff. Luckily for me, I ain't going to be working this year at all. Um, I'm not going to help. Um, the only like no, uh, no extra responsibilities or anything. So, um, uh, just hang and, and my mom doesn't even want me to hang out with her. So, um, it'll, it's extra work for me. So, uh, time for me to work. So, um, oh shit, what was I talking about? Maybe I'm too high. Um, yeah, so I got up. Oh yeah. She wanted me to do taxes. So she's like, Hey, let's just go to the H and R block. So she called me and took me to H and R block. I, at two. So I was sleeping until two. Um, but it was nice to sleep being super tired. So, um, I, uh, uh, we went over there to H&R Block, but then the lady there got stuck. So we have to go back tomorrow and do somebody else because they, um, when they figured out. So whatever, at least we got to get it done. And, um, uh, not too much money either. It's too, uh, supposedly only 208 bucks I have to pay. So, um, so, uh, yeah. And then we got a pizza over at Papa Murphy's and she got her pizza and I got mine and I, and then I wasn't working. So what I'm doing is I'm, um, I'm still on Diogenes. Uh, if it's one book that you take forever to read, I would say Diogenes because it's a collection of 82 different uh, philosophers of Greece. And, you know, Greece was a city-state. There was no, there was like city-states everywhere. So there's all these independent political systems. And also, so it makes sense, there's all these independent religious thinkers. And so... If you want to, so it's cool to, it's great to have a religious book that talks about the religion of a country or a set of countries and with so many different people and, you know, they didn't agree with each other either. There was a lot of dispute. So you get a, it was a great way to get a good view, a picture of the religious world in those days, the one that pre, prior to Christianity and um, Rome was plugged right into it, Pythagoras was the guy who started the religion of Italy and Rome and uh and he was one of the major Greek philosophers too so uh sometimes people think of you know Greco-Roman but it was really more Mediterranean it was um it was called Greco-Roman because it was all the same you know they just had their own Roman in there to remind people that Rome was part of the Greek world um so yeah, I'm I'm uh, chapter nine, the random writers, right now, um, and uh, I'm just collecting everything, pretty much, every single thing, uh, is fascinating. So it takes a while, and I'm using you know small font so I can fit it in. But uh, I'm curious to see exactly how much of the book I filled up because I was looking at some of the other ones I did and I didn't fill them up. So I want to make sure I have all of them and. Yeah, and why do I not have any images on uh, 
some of the latter chapters of the first book. Maybe I accidentally threw them all in the first one, but we'll see. I want to, that would be, see, the goal was to fill up, try to fill up the whole book. Because then I have a, something to go off of on the other ones that I can work on. Um, but uh, uh, I'm amazed with how um, uh, accurate these guys were, how accurately they thought. I want to do a video when I'm done, uh, breaking down where these guys stay and trying to recreate their mind as they were describing how the universe works because uh, it's amazing how they got it right. You know, like modern atomic theory, Einstein, and even with uh, Newton and stuff, people were like, oh, they're so smart. No, they were just carrying, they read the angry Greek philosoph ancient Greek philosophers and Plato and, and Aristotle. Um, and they got the ideas from them, people. We just don't know it because we don't read that stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think it's a diamond in the rough. Ancient Greek, ancient classical writing. People aren't into it, and um, so uh, it's uh, yeah, it takes a few days, but it's worth it. And but once I'm done with this, I'll be uh, it'll be fun to take do other books. I'm not really listening to anything else because I'm fit, focusing all on what they're saying here. You know. So it's a peaceful existence for the last few days. So tomorrow, man, I hope I'll be done. I'll be done with these random writers, but then there's 88 pages of Epicurus. I don't know why that's so long. That's actually what I fell asleep to listening to last night. So maybe I'll zoom through it um, if it's not that interesting. But if it is, it'll take a while, a whole day to get through that long at least. But uh, I wonder what he's got to say. I know he was the... He's probably boring. He's the least mystical who's the most uh close-minded of the philosophers all right so that's it talk to you tomorrow